In this video, we're going to focus on solving quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's say if we have the expression x squared minus 2x minus 15, and let's say that it's equal to 0. So it's already in standard form. Now what do we need to do at this point? First, you need to realize that standard form is this equation, ax squared plus bx plus c. So you need to know that in this equation, a is the number in front of x squared, which is 1, b is the number in front of x, that's negative 2, and c is the number that doesn't have an x attached to it. So c is negative 15. So let's go ahead and write that. So a is 1, b is negative 2, and c is negative 15. Now here's the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. So let's go ahead and plug in the numbers that we have. So b is negative 2. b squared, negative 2 squared, that's negative 2 times negative 2, that's positive 4 a is 1 and c is negative 15 divided by 2a or 2 times 1 which is 2. Now let's go ahead and simplify this result. Negative times negative 2 is positive 2. On the inside we have negative 4 times negative 15 that's positive 60. So this is going to be plus or minus square root 4 plus 60 divided by 2. 60 plus 4 is 64. And the square root of 64 is 8. So this is what we now have. Now at this point, we need to separate it into two answers. Notice that we have the symbol plus or minus. So it's going to be 2 plus 8 divided by 2. And the other answer is 2 minus 8 divided by 2. 2 plus 8 is 10. And 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. Now 2 minus 8 is negative 6. And negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. So these are the two answers. And that's how you can use the quadratic formula in order to solve quadratic equations. But for the sake of practice, let's go ahead and work on another example. Try this one. Let's say that 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 is equal to 0. Feel free to pause the video and use the quadratic formula to get two solutions for this equation. So let's identify a, b, and c. A is equal to 2, B is negative 5, and C is equal to negative 12. So using the quadratic equation, X is equal to negative B, so B is negative 5, plus or minus, square root, B squared, negative 5 squared is positive 25, minus 4, times A, which is 2, times C, which is negative 12, divided by 2A. So negative times negative 5 is positive 5. Two times 12 is 24. Four times 24 is 96. Now because we have two negative signs, it's going to be positive 96 divided by two times two, which is four. Now what is 25? plus 96. How much is that? Well, 90 plus 20 is 110. 5 plus 6 is 11. 110 plus 11 is 121. And the square root of 121 is 11. So we have 5 plus or minus 11 divided by 4. So now what we're going to do is write two equations. The first one is going to be 5 plus 11 over 4. And the second one 
5 minus 11 over 4. Now 5 plus 11 is 16 and 5 minus 11 is negative 6. 16 divided by 4 is 4. Negative 6 divided by 2, we can reduce it. Both numbers are even, so we can divide by 2. Negative 6 divided by 2 is negative 3. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So x is equal to 4, and x is equal to negative 3 over 2. So that's the solution to the equation. Now let's go back to our original equation, which was 2x squared minus 5x minus 12 because you can also solve this equation by factoring. However, sometimes some equations might be difficult to factor. Let's say if you have an equation that's factorable, but it's very difficult to factor, how can you factor it? Well, you can use the quadratic formula. Let's use this as an example. So we know that x is equal to four and x is equal to negative three over two. With this information, we can reverse factor the problem. So what we need to do is get a zero on one side of the equation. So let's subtract four from both sides. So x minus four is equal to zero. This is one. Now for the next one, let's add three over two to both sides. So x plus three over two is equal to zero. Now, since we have a fraction, what we want to do is multiply both sides of the equation by two to get rid of the fraction. So 2 times x is 2x, 2 times 3 over 2, the 2's will cancel, and you're going to get 3. And finally, 2 times 0 is simply 0. So this is another factor. Therefore, to factor the expression 2x squared minus 5x minus 12, it's going to be 2x plus 3 times x minus 4. Now we could check the work. You can check the answer by foiling it. So let's go ahead and do that. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 4 is negative 8x. 3 times x is 3x. And 3 times negative 4 is negative 12. And now let's add the two like terms in the middle. Negative 8 plus 3 is negative 5. So notice that we do indeed get the original equation. So if you ever need to factor a trinomial, you can always use the quadratic formula to factor it. If you ever have difficulty factoring a difficult expression, this is very useful. But now how can we actually factor this particular trinomial where the leading coefficient is not one? What's the standard way of doing it? The first thing that we need to do to factor this expression is we need to multiply the leading coefficient by the constant term. So 2 times negative 12 is negative 24. Now ask yourself, what two numbers multiply to negative 24 but add to the middle coefficient of negative 5? Now you might be thinking a list of answers. We have 2 and negative 12, 3 and negative 8, 4 and negative 6. But notice that 3 and negative 8 differs by negative 8. I mean not negative 8, but negative 5. 3 plus negative 8 is negative 5. So what we're going to do at this point is we're going to replace negative 5x with negative 8x and positive 3x. The order doesn't matter, but I just prefer to put the even numbers next to each other. Now in the next step, we're going to factor by grouping. In the first two terms, take out the GCF. The greatest common factor between 2 and 8 is 2. The greatest common factor between x squared and x is simply x. 2x squared divided by 2x is equal to x. Negative 8x divided by 2x is negative 4. In the last two terms, take out the GCF, which is 3. 3x divided by 3 is x negative 12 divided by 3 is negative 4. Notice that we have a common factor, x minus 4. When you see that, that means that you're on the right track. 
So write the common factor once inside a parentheses. And inside the other parentheses, whatever is on the outside, put it in the second parentheses. So that's 2x plus 3, which is what we had before. Now, to solve for x, set each factor equal to 0. x minus 4 equal to 0, and 2x plus 3 equal to 0. And just solve for x. So here we got to add 4 to both sides. So we get a previous answer, x equals positive 4. And for the other one, we need to begin by subtracting both sides by 3. And so we can see that 2x is equal to negative 3. And if we divide both sides by 2, x is equal to negative 3 over 2, which we got these two answers using the quadratic formula. So there's multiple ways in which you can solve a quadratic equation. You can factor it. You can use a quadratic formula. Or you can use a quadratic formula to factor the expression if that's what you need to do. So you have options. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.